Let your glory fall. Divine Glory Family Assembly Number 66, Local Rest Street, Ileife, presents Glorious Family Life, a program aimed at reaching out to individual homes to bring about the glory and purpose of God in each family and help youths identify the will of God in marriage. May the Holy Spirit fill your hearts as you listen. Now your host, Bishop Ivy Oladimeji. Let your glory fall. Praise the Lord. Welcome viewers. It's Lenten season. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the grace to come together in your precious presence. We ask, O oh God, that the Holy Spirit will brood over this session and that you minister grace to the hearers in Jesus' name. Um, I want to talk today on the cross of Christ. That's what Lent is all about. Remembering how Jesus came to die at the cross for humanity. The purpose of the cross, God was making a statement. The Lord has been trying to reveal his love to humanity right from creation. He has loved us beyond understanding. The Bible says the love of Christ is beyond human knowledge. And the death of Jesus at the cross of Calvary was God being able to declare boldly for the whole world to see his boundless, matchless love for the lost world. The purpose of the cross was to provide salvation. The Lord Jesus went to the cross in order to pay the price for sin. Now, the Bible says, the soul that sinned shall die, and that without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. That's what the Bible says. It's either the blood of an innocent person on behalf of the guilty one or the blood of the guilty person. Blood must be shed. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. You see, right there at the Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve sinned against God, in Genesis chapter 3 verse 21, the Bible said God killed an animal instantly because relationship had been broken. And once that relationship is broken, the heart of God is bleeding. The heart of God is bleeding over every soul, over every sinner. In fact, the Bible says God is not happy about the death of a sinner. He wants every sinner to repent. And so immediately, right there at the Garden of Eden, he killed an animal, he shed blood. He, he used that blood to cover the sin that Adam and Eve had committed so that he could still continue to relate with man. You can see, even when Cain was becoming stubborn and rebellious, God was still communicating with Cain. He still needs a relationship with us. The purpose of the cross is to defeat Satan. You see, the devil came to Adam and Eve. He deceived them. He lured them to sin against God. And in that process, he stole away the authority over the earth. He stole it away and now put man under his captivity. Man now became enslaved by the devil, you know, and it took Jesus to go to the cross to defeat the devil. It was right there at the cross. When Jesus said it was finished, the devil thought he, he, he had finished, but Jesus was, that was just the beginning. At the cross, when Jesus died, he paid the price and he defeated the devil. That is what the cross is all about. Now, this cross was a, a very brutal experience that Jesus went through. It was a terrible thing. He was scourged. He was scourged. Those days they used um, uh, animal skin that they, they, they were lying nails inside inside them and they use it to beat the lord jesus they tore his skin into pieces he was beaten he was spat upon they plucked off his beard they mocked him 
they stripped him naked. A big man, man of 33 years old. They stripped him naked. He was not a small child. They stripped him naked and they took him to the cross. Right there at the cross, he was nailed between two thieves. Between two thieves. Prophetically speaking, the Lord allowed two thieves to be crucified with him. Why? Because he, he was making a statement that the greatest thief of all, Satan himself, was being conquered. You know, right there, you know, being crucified between two thieves because the thief of this world was going to be dealt with. Jesus paid the price, a very painful price, a very horrible death. Why? Because death itself is terrible. Don't say sin does not matter. Sin matters. And there are great consequences for sin. You know, sin, for God to go that far, that kind of torturous death that Jesus had to bleed to death, it shows how devastating sin is. In the time of Noah, God wiped off the whole earth when sin was too much. But today, because of the blood, no matter how bad the world may be, no matter how terrible, in fact, the sin now is more than the sin of the days of Noah. The sin today is worse than the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah. A 14-year-old child killing his classmates to make money. What does a 14-year-old boy want to do with money? To buy chewing gum or what? I don't get it. The sin now is worst, and yet the world cannot be destroyed because of the blood of Jesus. The cross was a very big price that Jesus paid for us. Sin, sin is devastating. It breaks God's heart. Please, let's no more go into sin. At the cross, we have power to break the, 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 the power of the devil is broken at the cross. The power of sin is broken at the cross. And grace is released to live a holy life. Jesus himself said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Holiness is possible because after he died, they pierced his side. Water and blood came out. That water stands for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost is available for us today. And because the spirit that made Jesus succeed... The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, is living inside of us. When you give your life to Christ, the next thing is to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And He comes and dwells in you and releases grace to live holy. It is possible to live holy. Don't allow anyone to tell you nobody can be holy. If nobody can be holy, God will not say be holy. And so, holiness is made available. Heaven is made available. Heavens are open to every one of us in Jesus' name. I want to pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Are you battling with sin? Are you struggling with sin? You wake up every day and you continue the same way. Ah, the breaker is available. Jesus is the breaker. If you give your life to Jesus Christ, all you need to do is surrender your life to him and he will invade your life and break the power of the devil, break the power of sin over your life shall we pray father in the name of jesus i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice as many as are deep in sin as many as are tired of living a wasteful life i pray this day that you have mercy on them that you forgive their sins that you give them another chance and that you release the spirits of the Lord Jesus upon your people in the name of Jesus. I want you to call on me if you need prayers or you need any form of counseling. God bless you. Let your glory fall. Glorious Family Live has come to you from the Divine Glory Family Assembly, number 66, Lokore Street, Ilode, Ileife. We are sure you have been blessed. Tune to us again next week, same time, same station. For prayers, counseling, or to partner with us, Call us on 080-6653-7143. 080-6653-7143. You can also reach us on facebook.com forward slash or send us an email to ivfarmlife at yahoo.co.uk. Worship with us at number 66 Local Street, Ilode, Ileife. Give your child quality education. 
at Oladimeji International School and Oladimeji Preparatory School, we stand out for excellence. Remember always that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let your glory.